Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that everybody's doing well today. So, in this video, I am going to talk about what to do if there is no communication in a relationship. First of all, I want to start by saying that if there is no communication in your relationship or in a relationship, that's not a healthy relationship. And if you have tried your very hardest to communicate with your significant other about the fact that there's no communication and they're not listening to you and you feel like you're not being heard, I would personally end things. Now, with that being said, ending things is not always the answer. But in the long run, it might be the best thing for you. Because that's not a healthy relationship to have no communication, um, and you and and maybe you know in your relation or yeah maybe in your relationship there's you know maybe there's a little communication. All right, but that still doesn't cut it. In a in a healthy relationship, there should be good communication. There should also be consistency. Right? Remember those two words, good communication and consistency. And if there isn't consistency and if there isn't good communication, then what's the point in the relationship? There is none. You might as well find somebody better. Um, you know, somebody who will actually be there for you, communicate with you, you know, on a regular basis. Um, you know, um, I'm somebody who likes a lot of communication. Um, you know, um, and if you're not getting that, then what I would say is this. You know, I like I, I understand that you you know you might love the person a lot, and you know. I understand that. But if the person you're with is not being there for you and communicating with you and loving you, then there is absolutely no point in the relationship. Um... It's, 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 it's so hard, you know, because, you know, when you truly love someone, you know, it's hard to let them go, but sometimes it's the best thing to do. You know, especially if you guys are thinking about different paths, you know, um, you know, it might not work, like... I talked about this in another video. Let's just say... I'm trying to think of a good example here. Um, let's just say if you want to get married and have a good career. Right? 
let's just say if let's just say that's what you want to do uh, and let's just say your significant other doesn't want to get married then that can be a problem you know and that's something that you two have to talk about um, you see me for me I want to get married and I want to have a good career okay that's what I want so that's another thing to consider is if your significant other is taking a different path or wants to take a different path than you do you also have to th think about that you know but remember communication is key and you know if you're if you're somebody who see I, 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 I like to be as informative with everyone as I can so if you're somebody who maybe you're somebody maybe you know you're you're uh, somebody who is watching this video or listening to this video right now who's never been in a relationship and maybe you're just getting you know maybe you're in a brand new relationship right now and maybe your significant other is not communicating with you well or at all well let me tell you something that's unacceptable that's not acceptable your significant other should be communicating with you and there should be co good communication in your in, in a relationship always 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 communication is very important and again not to repeat myself but consistency is also very important so remember those two remember those two things wonderful people remember those two things communication and consistency right communication and consistency very very important folks very important all right very important and if there isn't consistency and if there isn't communication then there's no point in being in a re relationship and again you know, I, I, I like. I understand that. Again, if you really love somebody, I understand that. You know, I mean, like, let's just say, if you know, you're thinking about ending things with your significant other. Listen, I know it's hard, but sometimes it's the best thing to do. You have tried your hardest in the relationship and if you if you feel like you've given it your all and your significant other is just not working with you or communicating with you then you might want to think about ending things and I know it's hard to end things it is it's it's it, it is it's hard but it might be worth it for you in the long run. So, you guys, you all take care. I hope you, uh, you guys took something from this video. And um, you all take care. And just want to recommend a few YouTube channels here. Please check out my good friend Nicky Wonderlick's channel. And you can check out... Um, Molly Burke, check her out. She's another, uh, she's a, a great blind YouTuber. And you can check out, if you'd like to, uh, Depression to Expression, that's a, a great YouTube channel for people who have mental illness. And um, last but not least, check out Yellow Brick Cinema, that's a great YouTube channel. You can listen to different music, like music for meditating, music for studying, and deep sleep music. And please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and a thumbs up if you would like to. Y'all take care.